This is Danny Fallon for Eight Sleep Box and Repeat in Liverpool post fight. Liam Smith, Hassan Mokunio, joined by Sky's Johnny Nelson. Johnny, just a reaction to a rather strange ending, but a win nonetheless for Liam Smith. I feel for Liam Smith because Liam wanted to put a show on for his fans here in Liverpool. Unfortunately, he got an opponent that jumped, that dived, that quit. Um, and now he's actually winning on points, he's actually doing pretty well, but it's just something that's in him. Uh, it's in his DNA, he just, he just, he just quit. Well, Liam was familiar with that, he sparred with a guy before, he knows that you know, when, when he's tired, under pressure, whatever, he quits. And that's what he did. It's a, it's a shame because he's, he's pretty talented, um, but um, it's just that's what he chose to do. There was nothing wrong with him, nothing wrong with his ankle. He wasn't hit when he went down. Uh, he went down three times in the round, so uh, all you, can, uh, you can only come to that as well. Uh, as you said, Hassan was having pockets of success in that fight and he even seemed to have Liam sort of, don't know necessarily hurt, but certainly backing up. Uh, Liam mentioned post-fight that uh, he you know, insinuated in a way that he had sort of got the better of Hassan and Sparham previously and that a similar reaction came from that. Do you think that could be a bit more reason for the ending we saw from Hassan tonight? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Liam knew we had quit in him. And then, so with him knowing they had quit in him, he just thought, I just have to put the pressure on you. You'll fold eventually. Uh, we'll move on from that on to more positive news. Natasha Jonas, uh, now a unified uh, light middle world champion. Uh, amazing performance from Natasha Jonas in there tonight. Excellent performance from Natasha. Well done to her unifying the titles. Uh, decided to do it here in Liverpool as well. Uh, I think she put on an, an excellent performance. Smart, calculated pressure. Squared her off, made sure the fight worked in her favour. So I was really happy for her. She deserved it. There was a lot of good performances in the undercard. You would believe that her opponent was 10 years younger than her. It as well, so the pain I didn't big. actually put the miles that to give myself that's remarkable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. What the touch is 38, opponents 28. So you've got to give the credit where credit's due. Yeah, just big fights for. Uh, there was a lot of great performances in the undercard. I know you're pressed for time, so we'll not go through all of them. Just want to talk about Adam Zane, Johnny. Uh, another special finish. I mean, he's going to be a hard kid to match. Yes, he is. And they're going to have to now take risks with him. Um, this kid, if they do it right, he can be a, a world champion at this young age. Uh, but they've got to take risks with him uh, because he's too good for the talent that's out there. Uh, we saw a man, I was sort of surprised to see the body snatcher of Dull White uh, down ringside. Uh, can we read anything into that? Is that maybe a new sign in Sky and Boxer are looking at? Um, I don't know. Fifth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, I've no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dillian's obviously trying to bounce back from that, that loss to Tyson Fury. Uh, do you still see Dillian as a major player in the heavyweight division? He can be, he's, he's in the Who Needs Him club. That's where he is, he's dangerous. He can be beat, but would you risk fighting him because he's dangerous? And that's him, that's where he is, so I'm quite sure he's looking around and seeing what's available for him. Uh, last one for me, Johnny. Huge, huge, not just fight, but card next weekend. Savannah Marshall, Clarissa Shields, Michaela Meyer, Alicia Baumgartner, you know, loads of female ta fa talent stock top to bottom of the card. How much are you looking forward to next week at the O2? This is going to be an iconic show next, sat next Saturday in London. I'm so looking forward to it, and obviously the, the top of the bill. It's a good fight. It's a good fight. You, 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 it's a pick'em, uh, but the business will start, you know, Monday when these fighters are in London, and they've got to build a fight in a week, and you will see some ups and downs. You'll see, you'll see, but it'd be interesting to see. I think we're all looking forward to the build-up as well, more than anything at that press conference. Gloves are off tomorrow, at Sky Sports Arena, 7:30. So check it out. You'll see where it's going. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, thanks very much, John Nelson. I'll let you go. Appreciate it's been a long night for you. Thank you. Nice one. Thanks, John. I really nice appreciate it. Nice one. Have a good night.